Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Well, there is a question. I was writing an article uh, inside uh, wikigan.com. The article was basically how you can use the Windows security. So, this is the article that I just wrote and then published it. Then I found out that, uh, many people are asking that do they really need to install a third party security application on their computer, specifically Windows 10? and windows 11 which will be arriving soon enough on the market now what is the answer i'm going to tell the answer in the end but before that i'm going to show, uh, explore the uh, windows security then in the end you can decide yourself that whether it is good idea to install a third party or buy a third party security application or no so without wasting time let's begin so the first thing is that we have to launch the windows security just search for it in the start menu and then open it okay the very first thing is that you have to take a look that the windows security is uh, contained with these seven parts here you can have a look here in the left side they are also written and here they are also written but here you can see that uh, there are basically eight because performance has protection history is another thing uh, without it we can count that there are the windows security has been divided into seven categories that they are doing their jobs to secure your computer so let's begin without wasting any of time so the very first thing is that you can have a look here you can just go ahead click on virus and threat protection now this section is basically the defender windows defender which was basically introduced uh, back uh, who knows with windows vista and windows 7 now they are combined and they are inside the windows security this is only providing the malware protection uh, on the pc so here you can have a look here uh, the very first thing is that you have a quick scan you can just simply click on it and it's going to uh, scan the computer however you can also cancel it now before that one there is a, there are also the scan options now if you click on it now most of the time quick, quick scan is only uh, performing a quick scan uh, scan of the computer for the viruses for the malware but it is not a full scan every folder every directory every file they are not scanning it however if you think that quick scan is not enough you can just go ahead with the full scan now quick is a full scan is uh, taking a lot of time depending on the files of your computer sorry on the files that you have on your computer and uh quick scan is not taking a lot of time and by the way there is also the custom scan now there are uh, some times that uh, you are only interested in scanning a single directory or a single file then that way you can just completely uh, uh, sorry come here and then click custom scan and scan now now look at the folder that you want to scan suppose i want to scan this directory just select that and now it's going to scan it and depending on the size of the files it's going to take some time so you can just cancel it now remember that most of the time uh, when you are connected to the to the network they are performing very well even though if it is not connected to the network still it can perform very well however there are some times that uh, you want to scan the entire hard drive of your computer in the offline mode you can just simply uh, click on it and then click scan now now this is going to restart the pc and then uh, it will be on the boot section sorry in the recovery section where it is going to check everything every directory every file every script and then once they are done it will reboot again and then it will show you the result of their scan now it is also a lot of time consuming so i have to remember you have to you have to remember that uh they are really taking a lot of time now there are some times that you are installing uh, any application or any software on the computer then uh, you are saying that basically the windows security is not allowing you to install them uh, basically sometimes they are uh, feeling that there is a virus specifically if you are using a crack software now crack it means that uh, crack it means simply malware in my in my uh, idea so it is up to you now if you want to allow those threads just simply click on it and then you can see that uh, allow threads will be shown for you here now if they are allowed then you can see if they were not then 
there is nothing so this is basically the uh, scan options now there's also allow threats basically the same thing that just uh, we saw now protection history is also another thing and now there's also some time that uh, you want to temporarily uh, disable the windows security now the question is how to disable the windows security for a temporary amount of time so just you can come click here come here and then click manage settings now from here you can see that basically uh, windows security is providing uh, these options for us to secure the pc now the first thing is that real-time protection now you can see that if you turn the real-time protection you can even though install a crack software nothing will happen at all once you install that software and then just simply uh, come here and turn it on and it's going to enable you to do a quick uh, scan of the pc the issue will be, it will be fixed now there's also the cloud deliver protection there is also the automatic sample submission uh, so basically you can read that what these category can do there's also the temporal protection and finally the controlled folder access which is a part of the ransomware so and there's also the exclusion uh, exclusion is basically you can add some directory or file to it that you are saying that basically you should not scan those files just come here uh, now you have to simply add a file or add a folder or whatever then basically when you are scanning the pc the defender is not going to scan those directory that you mentioned them here as you can see that these are basically the temporary files and there are basically these are the temporary location uh, which are inside an uh, iso image so whenever i'm opening them basically they are saying that they are blocking uh, sorry sorry windows defender is not blocking them that's entirely another ma matter so as i said before there's also the uh hold on a moment please yeah as i said virus uh, virus and threat protection is another case and there's also the updates you can also check for it uh if there were an, an update from microsoft you can get it easily right now and there's also the ransom protection uh, you have to enable it because it is good for you who knows uh who can who knows someone may hack your computer and then take a hold of your files and then saying that you have to pay for each file $500 then this is basically an issue so you have to enable them uh, there will not be any issue and if there was any security threat Microsoft will update uh, them th through the Windows updates there's also the account protection basically this is uh, linked with your uh, Microsoft account and once they are linked if they are active and working very well you can see that these green icons are available so based on your PC uh, which type of security sorry which uh, ports of security if your uh, the, your PC has the security options will be available here you can also uh, see which type of options login whatever you can do check them and then again reconfigure them if you are not basically your account is not secured and there's also the firewall and network protection now you can see that the private domain and then public all of them are now active and basically firewall is protecting us from those uh sorry sorry um, protecting us from unwanted threats which are coming through through the network so basically these are secure there's also a bunch of uh, other settings that you can configure them uh, sorry configure them uh, one after another and then if you're okay then that's fine there's also the app and browse uh, sorry the app and browser control basically there are some applications that may harm your pc basically there there may be some apps that can be downloaded through the internet and then when you install it or in the background when they are installing you cannot see basically these are the options that by uh, windows security is going to check them uh, without you noticing them so there's also the reputation based protection settings here you can see that based on these settings they are by default configured so here's also the apps they are checking there's also a smart screen technology which is a specifically uh, a security type for the microsoft edge and there's also potentially unwanted apps that by default the windows is blocking them and finally there's also the smart screen uh, is also enabled for the microsoft store so each time microsoft they are updating their security for uh, 
the browser and the apps that are available on the windows and there's also the exploit protection you can configure the settings uh, from here also even the programs everything can be configured from here manually uh, you don't have to worry about a single thing just you have to to configure them manually you have to basically do a google, google search or a web search then find out how you can configure them and then you are good to go there's also the device security so inside the device security basically there are uh, multiple parts uh, and there's also the core isolation which is basically for the virtualization now that is entirely another method another method but they are providing security for the virtual machine that you are running uh, inside the windows 11 there's also this security processor now you can see that basically that this tpm tpm 2.0 they are uh, by, by default they are available you can uh, when once you go there you can see that there are uh, other options that you have to enable them so each one of uh, these categories requires their own categories to be explained manually one after another so you have to basically uh, find out everything about it then you are good to go so there's also the security chip uh, the tpm 2.0 the details specification version manufacturer you can see that the details are also listed here and there's also the device performance and health that they are providing to the computer that how is the health of this pc they can so basically there are here are the reports you can again go ahead and check them if you are not uh sorry if you are thinking that there is an issue you can re-scan total computer now there's also the family options now this is a good option uh, if you have children then basically you have to create an account for them to limit their access uh, until they are in the age of 18 so you can uh, just view those settings here but you can configure them uh, inside the microsoft account of yours you have to come here come here create an account for them and manually configure each setting so basically they will be a part of the family group here so since i am not a family man so i am basically not using them and besides here you can also see the devices that are uh, basically logged in so basically you can see everything that are under your uh, main account and you have created other accounts for your children or whatever and there's also the protection settings uh, so protection history and finally there's also the settings you can also configure the notifications security providers and everything else uh, they are now all available inside here now to answer the first question in the beginning of this video that i asked now do we really need a third party security applications like evas like northern like Casper Sky, like uh, there is a 360 security, and many other uh, softwares are available on the web. Now, do we really need them or no? Well, the answer is no. If you are constantly updating uh, your computer through the Windows update, now, if you are updating Microsoft, uh, if they feel that there are uh, security exploitation in the PC, there are some type of malwares that can't be detected with the current security Windows security, they are providing those security details through the Windows update. You can just simply update them and you're, you are good to go. There is no need for you to install or buy a third party security application. However, if you are thinking that uh, sorry if you are not uh, constantly updating your pc uh, only in a month or maybe a week you are using your computer for once then it's better that you have to buy a security software and then install it on your computer now this way your computer will be safe so uh, i know my english is not really good uh, so i hope really those guys who are watching this video ignore those issues so i hope this video was helpful for you and i will meet you guys in the next video so have a nice day goodbye take care and allah is